What's up everybody? Guess what I'm on today? It's on a Yamaha Bolt. Yeah! Oh, that's awesome. That's a good start. <laughs> That will be me in a few years. <laughs> well guys, it's finally here and this is the 2015 Yamaha Bolt and it's finally mine. So some of y'all are probably wondering why the heck did I get a Yamaha Bolt or a Cruiser? Well, <laughs> I, I love this bike so much after being on that, on that demo ride. Oh my goodness, it was awesome. I loved it so much. My friends who were up there with me know, knew how much I love that bike and the SCR 950. Both are wonderful bikes. Hence why I got this thing. It was a 2015 leftover model up at Maxim and I snagged it up. And it was probably greatest deal ever. <laughs> but continue what I was saying is like, I got this bike for comfort, long distance rides, and just playing around. I've always wanted a bobber sort of style. I know it's not a bobber now, but that's my plan is to turn it into a sore bobber or something. So right now it's bone stock, of course. Nothing, nothing crazy on it yet. I haven't got my hands on it. <laughs> um, so. I got this bike because I just found love of how beautiful this thing was and how comfortable this the bolt was. It's just perfect for me in my type of riding style. I love going on long rides and just taking a whole weekend to ride. It's just perfect for my way style. Where is that supermoto? Yeah, it wasn't more of my style, but the bolt is perfect for me. It fits me amazing like all cruisers typically do because they're so low <laughs> because I struggle with short people problems oh power V twin power <laughs> oh, I love that sound don't worry it's getting an exhaust it is not staying like this <laughs> yeah so it's very quiet which is not typical of me I love my bikes loud um, but I plan on getting a Bassani exhaust on this thing oh man I decided not to go with the Vans and Hines because it's like everyone has a Vans and Hines on a cruiser and it looks just the same as stock, whereas the Bassani gives it a nice styling to it, which is like, oh, and the sound it gives. If you haven't heard the sound of them, go look them up on YouTube. Holy crap, they're freaking awesome. There's not too many videos of them actually on YouTube. The Bassani gives it a nice, like, deep tone. It's, it gives it a nice tone. Videos definitely do not do it justice. And I can't wait to get this on this bike because it's going to sound so good. Uh, plus it's going to be, a little, give it a little bit more uniqueness starting off because not a lot of people have the Bassanis for the uh, Bolt. Most people have the Acropovic or the Vance and Hines. Vance and Hines, of course, is going to be the most prominent exhaust on this bike, no doubt. It's going to sound so dang good. It's going to be even louder than the R3 by far. Well, that's my plan right now for this bike. I'm not going too crazy starting off because I'm starting EMT school in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, that's just crazy. I've already started the online pre-course and all that. And I, I have to say, I absolutely love it. When I went to go pick up my textbook, I've never been that excited to pick up a textbook. Let me tell you that. It is crazy how excited I was first night I got it I read the first chapter and it was like 20 pages full of text <laughs> uh, I'm excited to start this next chapter so that's why videos are getting a little less frequent it is due to me have not having enough time to ride and make videos 
which is sad but once I get through this I can start making them again and have a lot more time that was even full throttle this bike's wicked awesome <laughs> oh, I'm in love again sorry R3 <laughs> don't worry I I still ride the R3 as you can tell a lot I will never give that baby up so no need to worry about the R3 going away it will never go away <laughs> oh, it gets really hot down there it's really hot well this bike feels so great it's just so easy to ride you just get on and just go and I could easily just take this for hours and hours of just riding especially when I get that exhaust that exhaust is going to just add like 200% more fun to this bike. <laughs> I have some good ideas what I want to do to the bike. I kind of want to make it my own like I did the R3. I'm not going to do stupid build projects or anything. I'm There's too many on YouTube to be honest. Hey, it's a little moped. <laughs> v-twin uh, <laughs> I love the twin sound parallel and the V especially the V now when I get that exhaust man oh man I'm gonna be riding this thing like 24 7 only if I could though <laughs> I won't have that much time what happened to this guy's bumper it's a little bent it's a little drunk what is this guy doing in the Lexus he's gonna get honked at Surprised. Usually people who have already honked, they're probably both on their phones, not paying attention like usual. Oh, that Evo. I love those cars. I kind of want an Evo or a WRX or 240Z if I really want to. <laughs> those are my three top cars that I want to save up and get for my first car. I really need a car. But this bike's a whole lot faster than the R3, I tell you that. <laughs> For those who don't know, the Bolt is a 9, I think, 942cc. Uh, it is a cruiser too, so it does have that low-end torque. Oh, that V-twin. That was in top gear, just a slight pull. It can pull in every gear. There's no bogging down like in the R3. It is a five speed, it is not a six speed transmission. Of course it's manual. I guess I'm just giving a little overview of it. For those who don't know too much about the Bolt. Um, 2014 was its first year. This is the 2015 base model. It's not the R or the C spec. The R spec isn't really much different than the base except for like a added shocks, like better, like minimal different shocks, uh, different seat. And a little different styling, but nothing too noticeable. And that was the R spec. They did have a 2015 R spec for sale, but it was like an extra 800 or like $300 more than this. But it was a little price difference for a little change, so it wasn't worth it to me. Now, if they had a C spec, I would have got that in a heartbeat. That bike is awesome. That bike looks a whole lot different and I love the look of that. I would change some things on it, but in general, if they had that, I would take the C-Spec over a base model, but all they had were a base and an R-Spec for their 2015 leftover models. So I wasn't gonna be choosing. <laughs> Saves me a whole lot more money versus buying a brand new 2017 when pretty much the 2017 only has different styling, like color schemes. So I have two friggin' awesome bikes now, 2015 R3 and the 2015 Yamaha Bolt. Oh, dream garage right there. Except for the, do need one more bike. I do need that Envia Gusta F4. I do need that in my life. 
but my wallet says otherwise. <laughs> all right, well, hope you all enjoyed this video. A little short, just a little general of like, what, why I got this, what I'm going to do to it, my plans and all that fun stuff. So look forward to more videos on the Bolt whenever I get a chance. And I will catch you on the next one. Later.